did you ever did you ever have a uh, a and I, I do want to kind of, I almost want to say on the section because but I, I was asked when uh, did you ever have a mentor who see and I want I, I want to tread lightly when I say mentor because okay in high school I was I was always the outcast in general even in my family I was the outcast me and my brother we feel like we're the outcast because my dad married my mom and he had a previous relationship that he married you know what I mean so there's that whole dynamic my grandpa I explained like yo if you feel something that you know the family's ignoring you or something like that it's, it's just because of the other relationship that your dad had and yada 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 he explained he explained that to us at a young age we didn't understand it because it's not coming from our dad's mouth and he doesn't see or understand the dynamic that we feel mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying but so when I was in high school, I wasn't, I wasn't talking to people. You know what I'm saying? In middle school, I was a shit. I got into a lot of fights, um, hung out with the popular people. I mean, the popular people liked me. I was a fat dude, and I lost 160 pounds. So we'll, 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 we'll get into that later. You know, all this, yeah, loose skin. Hey, nothing but good, it, man. man. But good. um. But yeah, middle school, you know what I'm saying? I was the fat kid, and people made fun of me. I I tell, you know, I crack jokes at people because you know I'm not quick with the shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I, you know when I need to be or when I feel like it. And then when I got to high school, it was just like, it's just boring now, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just boring to me. That life was boring, or even life in general was boring. So I just became quiet, and then I just, I saw the separation in terms of I went to Pinole Valley. And it's it was a white place or whatever. Technically, still is a white place, but it, it's always weird to see in high schools the separation in terms of like the geeks, the jocks, the you know whatever. You go down that list, and then you separate that list by the color. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know to see all that shit. And basically, I was just around all the older people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And and they were my mentors and it wasn't that they influenced me to become a positive person and no shit like that but they saw how much either they saw that I was an outcast or they saw that I kept myself at bay from people you know what I'm saying and so they I almost want to say coddled but they, they nurtured that side. and this, these were men you know what I'm saying a, a white math teacher a black uh, a black woodshop teacher and another white math teacher, actually, you know what I'm saying? They they talked to me about life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even realize that. I didn't even realize I was at that place in, in high school. You know what I mean? But when 16 hit, depression, yeah. right down the hill, man. That 11th grade, that was that shit was funny. But, yeah, I wanted to ask you, did you have any mentors that that wasn't your uncles? You know what I'm saying? That, that basically showed you something else that you possibly was already going in a direction of so i mean to be honest and transparent once again at six i don't remember the exact age Mm -hmm. between six or seven i was playing with this older kid he was probably like five six years older than me he mentioned the word sex Uh i wanted to know what he is eventually he ended up molesting me so same thing happened to me too that ended up Gating my trust because at that point I didn't know what was right or wrong, Mm -hmm. and then my parents didn't never speak to me. My dad was gone. My mom was working too much. My grandmother was handicapped. Mm -hmm. I didn't have brothers or sisters, and I didn't have a cousin first cousin until I was 14. Damn. So, I grew up with people who were, I mean, my immediate family, all 20 years and older. Right. My uncle was into his lifestyle. My other uncle was, he smoked bass, but he wasn't like a fucking crackhead. He still knew how to sell the dope and get the money and be clean. Right. But he wasn't a dope head. Like, right. you know what I mean? He was presentable. He knew how to control himself with the shit. Yeah. yeah. But it still was a detriment to the family. Of course. And my grandma treated him like shit because of that. My aunt went to college four years. And like I said, the dynamic between her and my mother. Right. 
really. She, we had our time. She would let me run errands with her. You know what I mean? But that comes down the line. But at the end of the day, so I think that experience just totally fucked up my whole sense of trust with males. In one way or another. I still had, I still, so I was living, I was, my, my, I was going to, I was at, when that happened, I was at my grandmother's in her neighborhood, Cleveland Heights. Right. But I lived in Warrensville Heights, which was about 10 miles away. That was my friends. Right. So that happened. Eventually, I found out that it was wrong, one way or another. Right. And I think we just didn't see each other anymore. And, uh, so I had kids that was my grade, but then my mentors would have been maybe like a second grade teacher, a woman that's getting in. Um, so you so your mentors are always women. Well, not necessarily. Don't get me wrong. Uh-huh. At that point, at, at a very early age, yes. Uh-huh. For some reason, they took a liking to me, even when I was going to like preschool I had a woman that would call me a prince and call me a king and I was lucky enough to go to preschool and go to elementary school first through fourth and learn about my people first Afrocentric kind of upbringing Uh so to say Um, and then I've transferred and went to this school system Shaker Heights where Kid Cudi is from MGK Um, and I had a white male teacher that was a mentor in a sense of his teaching and his style, right. but not so much put me aside and say, hey, are you doing this or have you done this? Right. Or, um, and then I got to high school and my friend's fathers were more influential. We had a teacher, seventh grade, eighth grade teacher, Mr. Hutch, English teacher, you know, always had the slogan, be the best, mm-hmm. taught us about being aggressive, blah, blah, blah. Um, so eventually they segue over to like my friend's fathers mm-hmm. as mentors in a sense, but still they had children to raise. So I learned more through their teachings and their upbringing than having someone directly come and speak to me. Right. Yeah. But I mean, for me, um,